Now I'm going to show you how to make edits red or something like this after the user has edited them so that you can keep track of which cells that you have edited. So let me show you how to do that. We're going to use the same grid one change event that we have been using in order to send the data back to the Excel sheet. But now we're actually going to use another method which is called instead of the cell value method we're going to use the cell back color or the cell for color method. Same exact way of getting the item and the column numbers but we're just going to affect it that way. So we're going to make cell red okay so we're going to take sheet 2.grid1.items but instead of dot cell value we're going to take dot cell let's do the back color first the cell back color for this particular item and remember it's item we already are given the item number so instead of h we're going to use the variable item comma how about whatever the call index from the event so it's already going to feed us this and this but we're going to tell it what the back color we want it to be. So let's say we wanted to use the RGB, the red, green, blue function. Why don't we use 255, the max, for red, and then 0 and 0 for the other one. We know that's going to be a very bright red color. will be the back color once we ch make an edit. All right. So that's current cell is going to be equal to red back color. Let's try it out. So I'm going to change this first name from Cindy to let's just say Cindy 2. If I hit enter you notice that the one that I actually edited and saved the edits is red in the back color. Now we could also do the cell 4 color so let me copy and paste that and we're just gonna double click here and do dot cell 4 color. So I'm gonna hit tab and just uh, delete that spacebar there. Same exact thing. Cell four color is going to be something different. So let's use a different method of getting a color. So I can, just so you are exposed to a couple different ways, you could do VBA dot color constants and do dot, and you have all these choices. Not a whole lot of choices here, but let's say we wanted the uh, four color, meaning the font to be maybe uh, white, for example. VB white. Okay, so now whenever I make an edit, Cindy, I'm going to change Cindy 2 back to Cindy, and now it should have a white font with a red for color. All right, and there's a lot of other ways to obtain the colors. Um, you could, in fact, just edit something and get the hex code for the color or look it up online, whatever you want to do. So now, anytime we edit anything, it's going to be uh, that way. And not only is it going to be red to show me which ones I've affected, but it's also going to change the last name over here as well. So we need to actually change that back. Loohoo. This will be strong. And now we've got plenty of edits. All three of these are in red, and they should look a lot better on here. Yep, everything is fixed now. I edited them. All right, we'll see you in the next lecture.